Hey TikTok viewers, this is the Chan Clan and we're demonstrating the Legends Pinball Machine. This is the At Games Legends Pinball Cabinet, available at Sam's Club um, or directly at At Games. This is a cool uh, cabinet that allows you to play virtual pinball. Now, this you see is actually uh, the Zen Pinball FX3 uh, tables that has been modified. So one cool thing about this cabinet is it allows you to pass in uh, external connections here so that it basically serves as just a monitor, uh, but allows you to use the flippers here. So. Lucas is playing Guardians of the Galaxies through uh, the laptop, actually, that we have attached here. Now, there are a couple of mods that we've made to allow this display. You have to buy a extra circuit board, uh, and then also some flat connectors that connect over here um, are added. As such, uh, it's gonna require you, if you wanted to do a setup exactly like mine, to have a external PC where you have your Steam-based uh, Zen Pinball FX3 games, and basically you're patching it into this, um, into this cabinet. One downside is that you're not gonna get the force feedback of your buttons here, which are otherwise um, programmed with the uh, default boards but we actually like the Zen pinball games a little bit more than the default boards. You can actually see the windows background there. Um, and uh, here we can actually take a look at what's going on un underneath here. Well, that's kind of glitched up because you actually started up steam somehow. So let's take a look at under the hood. Under the hood, we have our laptop. So this is just playing Pinball FX3. And you can see that Pinball FX3 actually crashed or something. I don't know what happened. Did you quit out of it? So we're gonna launch it up here. This is basically using external monitors to um, outport this, or port this out. Got an HDMI connector and also a USB-C. This is actually a Surface Pro 8, which is able to run this just fine. You do need a cabinet unlock uh, that you have to request a, a specific is code. Is there two? Yeah, there's a specific code that you have to get from um, the uh, Pinball FX3 guys, but that will allow you to unlock your whole library. Now take a look at our library. We've got a ton. Actually, we have every single board by Pinball FX3. And you can download these custom backgrounds just through actually a Reddit thread um, where people have been able to have the default uh, image uh, kind of mapped around the scoreboard area, which is over here. So you could take a look at any of these pinball games here. You're going to play Shaman or something. But we have a lot of popular ones. Star Wars ones, Back to the Future ones, Universal ones. You play Back to the Future, Jaws, E.T. Yeah. So anything available on Pinball FX3 can be played. How do I start it? Pull the trigger here. So we actually use Joy to Key, which is a... Um, free application that allows you to remap these controls uh, to interact. Yeah, you're gonna play Jaws. So mm -hmm. I've turned off the music just to, you can start a new game. So go to the right here. There you go, pull that. All right, there you go. I've stopped the uh, audio or the music from playing just so it doesn't flag any copyrights in our video here, but um, this will allow you to just see that uh, this screen, 1080p, um, refresh rate, I don't know maybe 60. It's not a fast refresh rate, but it does good enough. Now, two things that you're gonna notice are latency. There is some button latency that happens if you have vertical sync on. So first of all, turn off vertical sync. The other thing is that if your polling rate for your joy to key um, is too slow, I turn it to maximum, it uses more CPU, but even the Surface Pro 8 uh, with its quad core CPU is able to handle this just fine, um, cuts the latency almost to zero. So anybody with latency issues, again, one, turn off V-Sync and two, increase your polling rate in um, joy to key which is the USB button remapper that has to run in the background. I'll put a link in the description uh, on uh, a couple of websites that I found helpful in setting this all up. So once this is set up, this is pretty cool because um, 
The other cabinets available on the market um, do have officially licensed Zen Studio um, tables, but they are pre-built with one table, right? So you may have seen some of those uh, 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 one-up gaming machines uh, that are virtual pinball. This allows us through the Legends Pinball cabinet to play all of our um, Zen pinball games. So that was one of the reasons that I uh, got this. The native boards on here are older. Um, we play them sometimes too, but one of the problems with this cabinet, uh, with the native boards, is that they do have uh, some force feedback actuators, I believe, um, that vibrate the buttons. Um, the sound quality is terrible because essentially the sound uh, uses a sound uh, signal to vibrate uh, a um, thing right near the buttons and it vibrates the whole frame and cabinet. Uh, we'll do a different review uh, just because that's a little bit more nuanced um, to demonstrate what you can do. We tried taping it down, gluing it down, but in actuality it becomes more of a nuisance as far as the audio quality goes uh, than a benefit to actually continue using that. Um, and then main thing, the, the, the main part of this use is just for the uh, Zen Pinball FX3 boards, uh, where our kids like to use that. Uh, the downside to this setup is that you do need a dedicated PC or laptop that can handle um, the, the graphics here, um, but it doesn't have to be overkill. So some people dedicate a, a 3D card for this. Really, if you're using FX3, um, again, I'm using a Surface Pro 8, and the onboard graphics are sufficient to play all of these boards just fine. So, and you can hot slot that out when you're not using it um, just by disconnecting it. Um, and this allows you to play all of these old boards, uh, which are pretty fun. Um, but for what it's worth, this is the At Games Legends Pinball. And again, this is a demonstration of how we have configured this using uh, standard techniques uh, and supported techniques to support the entire uh, Pinball FX3 library through Steam. And Lucas is going to launch, uh, which one? What are you playing? Single player, there you go. Darth Vader? Darth Vader, Star Wars Darth Vader table here. All right, you're going head to head. And any online features can be used because again, this is basically through the, the laptop as a, as a monitor at this point. So here you go. So just a little commentary, it's more fun to play these pinball games in a cabinet mode just because it uses the full portrait mode of the monitor and you have a much better view of the entire pinball table. Uh, if you played this traditionally on a TV, that rectangular format kind of slants the table back a lot more and you have to pan up and down. So the cabinet mode, you know, uh, does add a little bit more um, authentic play experience despite this being a virtual table. Anyways, if this is something that uh, interests you, something I think this requires pretty low skill, a couple of read-throughs through online materials, but the Legends Pinball Machine, the At Games Legends Pinball Machine, is a great addition to your home, especially if you wanna add a huge library of pinball tables. This, and also the um, Pinball FX uh, 3 tables. Um, the other built-in Legends options, including subscriptions and native boards, we'll cover in a separate video that we'll link to when complete. So thanks for watching. This is Dan, and this is the Chan Clan's Tech Talk of the At Games Legends Pinball Machine. Subscribe!